hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another video i am starting this video off first thing with some cleanup and organizing here in the new year if you're anything like me a new year a new month a new week a new anything gives me motivation to get my house in shape and start off just with a fresh slate so we are starting back here at my kids toy corner and it truly was a disaster also we have company coming over later this week so that's another reason why we are doing a good cleaning here to start the week off so my brain has extra space to think of the other things so i am working together with my kiddos and i'm gonna be honest sometimes it is a zoo to try to get them to help me but i try to think of creative ways that they can help and that they are putting forth effort to learn how to pick up their own things kai doesn't quite get it yet but zendaya has started to and we've come up with creative ways like her using her baby doll stroller or kai's dump truck to go around and pick up toys and then she just brings them back to me and dumps them on the floor while i sit and sort things all our toys don't really have to be sorted, but it helps when I know that everything has a special place and is kind of sorted into the proper bins. The kids can find their toys easily. It just makes everyone happier all around. first started out cleaning up their room because their room had collected a lot of toys this morning and had three diaper boxes that needed to go out to the dumpster so we took care of those in a quick moment and then came back to focus on cleaning up the rest of the toys and I worked on gathering up some of the larger heavier things that were over in the other area of the living room that Zendaya couldn't get to or could not reach. I really like this toy corner back here and over time I'll probably end up tweaking it some but it seems to just hold a good amount of toys. I go through and purge it every so often. In fact, even before Christmas this year, I took Zendaya with me or asked her to come with me and we actually picked out an entire garbage bag full of toys to get rid of and she picked out the ones she wanted to get rid of and she was totally okay with it there was no fussing or crying or anything like that which I was actually surprised I thought it was gonna be hard um, but it really made the way to get rid of some of the toys that the kids have lost interest in and to make room for some of those new Christmas gifts and toys and fun things that I knew they were gonna be getting and enjoying so much more than the other toys that they had kind of played with and played out of already. I finished picking up most of the toys I started vacuuming while Zendaya and Kai finished up the rest and I used to have a runner rug that went right here and I took it away to wash it the one day and it did not come back ever <laughs> um, so I went and grabbed that really quick out of my laundry room and Zendaya so sweetly helped me put it down put it under the organizer so that it doesn't catch and like wrinkle and roll up and all that stuff and it really just added that cute extra touch to this little corner that I had been missing ever since I took it away to wash it and never brought it back. when this corner is all cleaned up it's so nice and fun inviting a 
a little bit cozy i love the plants back here they just they add a little fun touch for me i don't think the kids care about them at home but i think it makes it just look homey and inviting and there's nothing like a clean space especially with toys to start out your week feeling like your brain is free of all that clutter that happens when everything is not in its place so I'm finally taking a break from all my cleaning to catch up with you guys face to face and to say thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to the video. This is my first video of 2023 and I guess we'll get into some specifics of YouTube in a little bit because I have a couple things I want to talk about with you guys but I wanted to stop and say hi. Thanks for clicking on the video and also give you a rundown of what I'm up to and what I am kicking my new year off with. So a couple of things. First, you may have noticed that I have missed posting for several weeks in a row now and um, I try to post on every Monday but it doesn't always happen. I try to post at least once a week um, but my schedule has been really messed up and there's a lot of detail that I could go into that I'm probably not going to go into on YouTube here but I want to say hopefully with the start of the new year, I'm going to be back to a more once a week posting schedule. I took a little break kind of from YouTube, from filming, from posting. I even had some footage started that I just scrapped because I felt like I was just tired of it. I was tired of trying to film content and um, come up with quality content. And then there was also a lot of things going on in our lives this year, especially in the past like five months that have been a little difficult and have a really shot down my um, drive to do <laughs> much more than just the bare minimum. Um, but anyways, we are getting started here in a new year and I thought I would kick off the year with my first video being a little bit of a motivational um, help to you guys maybe. It's a help to me because I'm getting things done. We have some friends coming over later this week so I am starting the cleaning process now so I have like three to four days to work at that. I have some fun cute little redecorating things that I want to do now that Christmas is over and then I also want to talk with you guys about some of my new year's goals for this new year. I know everybody talks about resolutions and goals and all the things um, or the lack of them doing them. <laughs> those things uh, but I thought I'd share with you guys some things that I'm really making a point to capitalize on in this new year um, and yeah so I guess without further ado let's get started so I kind of explained to you guys about the whole YouTube thing I had taken a little unannounced break so I'm fine we are doing good um, I just felt like I didn't need one more thing to worry about and my mental capacity was really full especially coming up to the holidays there's a lot of um people wanting to plan get togethers and all that kind of thing and as fun as that can be it also can be really taxing mentally so i decided for all those reasons to step back for a few weeks from youtube and i feel quite refreshed and i'm very ready to get into a new month and a new year so with all that being said I will talk to you guys a little bit about what I am doing this year um, to benefit me all around. So the first thing that I'm doing is I also took a little bit of a break from going to the gym. Um, I had been going, I think I started March of last year, got a gym membership membership, have been going to the gym, but I took a little bit of a break here in December and I am back. I have a new workout routine, so I'm excited to start that. It's going to be something fun and new and different and just break it up a little bit um, because as much as I always feel good when I go to the gym, I don't really enjoy going. Does that make sense? Self-discipline in that area. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I don't really have a resolution that I need to go so many times a week or whatever. Um, probably my biggest thing that I am trying to do this year is to spend more time reading my Bible, getting into the Word, and really just developing my personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So I don't talk a ton about very in detail things beliefs all that kind of stuff on my channel but as you guys hopefully know maybe don't know i am a christian and 
I have really been challenged recently by some really great conversations with friends to deepen my personal relationship with Christ and not base it off of anyone else, any influential apologeticist, apolo apologetics person, any influential speaker or pastor or teacher, um, really base that off of like my personal relationship that I have with Christ and not be learning my things and like, you know, gaining knowledge just from other people and basing it all on them. So with that being said, I am diving into devotions more hopefully consistently and committedly this year, if that's a word. And I thought I would share with you guys what I'm doing. So I'm actually not doing a devotional book right now. Um, I do have this book that is a prayer journal. This was given to me. I can see if I can find a link and link it below. Um, but it just gives you a space to write out praises and prayers, um, requests and verses of the day, all that kind of stuff on a daily basis. So I'm really trying to uh, fill this out every day. I'm actually dedicating like 30 minutes of my kids quiet time for my devotions because I know that it will be uninterrupted and I'm not going to feel rushed because I know my kids are sleeping and they're quiet and they're like contained in their room as opposed to if I do it in the morning, I feel like I have to get it done so that I can get on to the next thing before my kids wake up. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. I don't know. We're three days in. This is January 3rd when I'm filming this. Um, but what I'm doing for devotions this year is something different that was a challenge actually from our pastor on new year's day and i am reading through hopefully reading through the old testament one time the new testament three times the psalms six times and proverbs 12 times and i'll tell you how i'm gonna do that and this was something that he challenged us to i mean he didn't say you need to do this but he um presented just different different challenges for the new year and i thought this was so good and hopefully um will be really beneficial to me so uh i broke down the math in my bible and if i exclude psalms and proverbs from the old testament and divide that by five days a week times 52 weeks in a year it's like 261 something like that days um so not counting saturday and sunday so it gives me a little room i am trying to read i think it's four or five pages in in my bible every bible's different um of the old testament per day uh two pages of the new testament three pages of psalms and one chapter of proper proverbs and if i do that every day i will get through the old testament in the year the new testament i'll be able to go through three times psalms six times and proverbs 12 times so once a month and what our pastor's challenge was to us which i thought was so good is that if you read through the bible or certain books of the bible that many times in one year you will start to retain what you're reading and remember oh i just i read this you know a couple months ago or i read this last month um and so that was a really great challenge for me and i think um a challenge that hopefully will uh deepen my relationship with christ and really just grow my personal relationship just through his word and through relationship with him not just listening to someone else um share from the bible or something like that so that's one of my big goals for this year other than that we're just gonna see what the year has in store um but i thought i would jump in and show you some fun things i've been doing while i've been off of youtube so hopefully i can do that quick and not take up too much of y'all's time and then after that i want to work on some cleaning and organizing in my kitchen and do a little bit of like redecorating. I don't know if you want to call it that, but just change some things around a little bit. So that's going to be about the extent of what we're going to do. But let me grab the camera and show you guys some things that have changed that I've just been working on in the past month. So I know the lighting here is bad because of the window and it's kind of cloudy outside even though it looks bright. Um, so yeah, apologies about that. But I am redoing this coffee bar area here in our kitchen. So I'm sharing this with you guys. This used to be just this little, excuse the boxes, I know we're working on stuff, but it used to be this little trash bin hideaway and I barely had room for my coffee pot and my water filter. So we are redoing this to give me some more room and also to make a really cute inviting area here in the kitchen. So I found this three tiered shelf, whatever you want to call it, off Facebook. And then I just added my coffee pot and water filter, added some decor. This was all stuff I had that I just put together. Um, and then I also added a bread box because I like to bake a lot of bread. And so 
um, it was just a great place for it got it off my counter and then down here we have like coffee supplies um, actually I think this is mugs and hot chocolate teas coffee supplies different things like that on the bottom I have cookbooks and my sourdough banneton and water pitchers just a really cute thing I'm not done with this area yet because I need to get a trash can for either over here or over here we're not sure but this has been a super fun change to my kitchen that I have been looking forward to and working on in this past month so I need to clean up this area as you guys can see it's a little bit of a wreck um, but hopefully it won't take too long and then I will be back and show you guys some fun things I want to do I want to change around my soaps I want to change out my wreath um, just some fun cool stuff like that so let's get right into it We have this part cleaned up. There's a couple things that I need to find homes for left over from the holidays, birthday gifts, just different stuff, but so much better. So I wanted to show you guys a couple fun things that I found and a couple changes I'm gonna be making in the kitchen next. So y'all know how much I love doing like different tiny changes here and there just to um, like refresh a space. I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to think of words, but my brain is drawing a blank. Um, and since I'm not going to be redecorating, um, I did a very minimal like winter style decor this year. So since I'm not going to be redecorating till like spring, um, I wanted to do a couple change ups now that the like Christmas season is over. Sorry, I've got like fuzzies flying around. They're driving me nuts. Anyhow, um, I want to do a couple small changes here in the kitchen and I found some things honestly probably like a month and a half ago that I've been waiting to show you guys till I could include it in a video and like I said with taking a break from YouTube and just not having the mental space for it I'm finally back so I'm finally showing you the couple little things and finally doing them that I wanted to do so first off I am going to be updating the wreath that I have overhanging like above our keys sign I'll show it to you in a second I had been looking for a frosted wreath and I just did not find one or wasn't out I wasn't making a purposeful trip out to get one I was waiting till I actually got to a store so I have this cute little one that's very wintry um, that I'm gonna be putting up there and then um, I'm going to be updating the like soap area right here with this cute little stand um, I'll probably honestly grab some beads or something cute to put on it uh, since it's a pretty large size stand but it was rather inexpensive it's nothing fancy I really just like stands for like soaps and I like to keep lotion especially in these winter months um, beside my sink so that's gonna be just a nice cute refresh um, and this one's been here since fall so it's about time for me to do a little something different and then last but not least I am going to be I got this little glass let me see if I can get the top off okay here we go sorry about that I got this little glass container that has a like a seal top and I am going to be hopefully making some homemade creamer of some sort for my coffee and I don't think I'm gonna include that in the video because I'm not sure when I'm gonna get it made it might even be like into next week um but I thought this was really cute and it'll be fun to store like homemade flavored creamer in. I think I'm going to look for like a white chocolate creamer or something like that. We'll see. I've never done this before. But just a cute thing to make um, drinking coffee fun or um, something fun to serve if I have people over with coffee. Especially during these cold months. So I'm going to really quick 
change out my wreath I'm gonna do some little like soap sink side decor and yeah then this kitchen will be done for the day and I've been really trying to make it a point to have my kitchen a little bit cleaned up for the end of the day when I start supper prep and also when Nelson comes home um a while back I was either reading a post or listening to a podcast I'm not sure which I think it might have been a podcast um, about how the space in your home that you first see when you come in the door can really make or break someone's impression of your home and how they feel when they come over so I've really been doing a point to make my kitchen inviting since you come right into the kitchen there's no mud room or garage or front door to our house I mean the front door is the kitchen um, so I've been doing a point to tr making it a point <laughs> to try to make this space very cozy and inviting as I can for a kitchen um, that way when people come in they feel very like welcome and relaxed in an inviting kitchen environment so hopefully that makes sense and maybe that's a little tip for you for this month of January if you're wanting to like I don't know change something or do something new for the new year make your entryway as inviting as you can for guests have someone over make it cozy and um yeah actually you know what sharing about this i now remember where i read that so i'm going to share that with you guys i read it in one of joanna Gaines, um home decor inspiration idea type books i will try to find out what the title is maybe i can leave it down below for you guys um it's a book i've been slowly going through really enjoying so tip for you guys uh make your kitchen or the space not your kitchen the space where your door opens up into make it inviting and maybe let me know down below in your home do you walk right into your kitchen do you walk into a mud room um do you have ideas for how to make an inviting space if you come right into like a kitchen because i will be taking all your ideas since that's something i'm trying to work on okay i'm gonna stop jabbering now i promise and we'll get on to the little redo area right here just next absolutely love how this little area turned out I've been using it for the past couple days and it just is super efficient and nice it's easy to access all my soaps um, it also has a kind of keeps them looking cute and it kind of keeps things clean and organized I just put the things I use on here most which is lotion soap um, hand soap and then a couple of my cleaning oils that I'll occasionally use in the dishwasher or to remove anything that's like sticky on a container they fit on here perfect and just looked so fresh cute and clean I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here but I wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching this video and I wanted to say thank you so much for going with me through the past year of 2022. Um, it's been such a fun year for me of learning new things and growing and it has been a hard year but I think out of the hard years come some of the best growth and so I'm really thankful for that in the past year and I'm thankful that I got to share parts of it with you guys here on YouTube and I just want to thank you for your support I'm so excited to go into this new year to work on some new things new projects and hopefully to learn a lot of new things but thanks so much for coming with me on the first video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you are having a wonderful start to your new year I hope that your year is a blessed one and that you can accomplish some fun things new things and have some some growth in your new year as well i will see you guys next week hopefully lord willing with another video but until then i hope you guys have a wonderful week bye guys